Hello everybody, it's Dumplet Chao Zai, and welcome to the very first ever Dumplet tutorial. Today's topic is on mass point geometry. From the name itself, it's used in geometry. And this is a very, very nice technique, shortcut, or whatever you want to call it, in a lot of the geometry items. It's seen in mathematical proofs, it's also seen in short answer problems. Well, it's a very, very common technique to use in um, Olympiad as well. So without further ado, let us dive into today's topic. Now, the concept of mass point geometry is very simple. You have masses on a point on a geometric figure. Now, um, let's have this figure below. We have segment AB with point C on segment AB. The 3, the 7, and the 4 here are called weights. So we say that 3 is the weight or mass assigned to point A, 7 is the weight or the mass assigned to point C, and 4 is the, uh, 4 is the weight or the mass assigned on point B. And this is an example of a balanced figure. And we say that this is the distribution that keeps segment AC, AB balanced on point C. Now let us try to go into why this is balanced. Now the concept of mass point geometry comes from physics. But we're not going to talk about physics here. Let's, let us make things simple. The concept is that suppose you put your finger on a stick. Let's say the stick is segment AB. If I, if I do nothing and I just literally put my finger on point C that is not on the center, what's going to happen? Well, point A will tend to go down and point B will tend to go up because AC is longer than CB. So AC is longer which means it's heavier. So point A tends to go down and point B tends to go up. Now, if my finger was in the middle instead, then it's going to be balanced since you know, it's in the middle. It's, it's, also, in, it's, called, it's also called the center of mass for the physics people out there. So that's the concept behind. Now, why do we assign weights or masses? Because this is a segment and it doesn't move, obviously. I mean, it's not moving. So we assign weights to help balance this segment on point C. Now, the ratio of AC to CB, let me write this down here, AC to CB should be equal to, to, the, to it should be equal to the ratio of masses assigned to points A and B. Now obviously, you do not want to put a heavier object on the heavier side, so you must put the lighter object on the heavier segment or the longer segment, and you must, and you must put a heavier object, sorry, you must put the lighter object on the heavier segment or the longer segment, and you want to put a heavier object on the shorter segment or the lighter segment. So AC is to CB should be the ratio of M of B. Now let M of B be the mass on point B, and let M of A be the mass on point A. So AC over CB should be equal to the mass on point B and the mass on point A. So let's go back to this figure to start. Now, in this figure, AC is longer than CB. So just from the figure, we can already expect that to make this segment balanced by mass point geometry, the weight assigned to B should be greater than the weight assigned to A, which is true. So since the weight assigned to B is 4 and the weight assigned to A is 3, then we can conclude that the ratio AC over CB, so the longer segment to the shorter segment, equals the larger weight, obviously, to the smaller weight assigned, 4 and 3. Now, what is the 7? 7 is actually the total mass on point C. Why? Because 7 is 3 plus 4. Now, if you put 3 on A and 4 on B, then obviously the total mass on C would be 7. So this is a concept of mass point geometry. So we have the 7 here that came from 3 plus 4. Now this is the very very basic concept of mass point geometry. Now let us dive into some examples. Suppose I have AC equals 5 and BC equals 2. And I want to make this, set, this figure balanced. 
All right. So first step, I must assign weights to points A and B. So since AC is longer than CB, I already know that I should assign a heavier weight on point B and a lighter weight on point A. So I must have the ratio 5 is to 2, which is AC over CB or BC. This is equal to the mass on B over the mass on A. Now very simple, I can easily assign the weights 5 and 2. But note that these are not the only answers. Obviously, any combination of masses that have the ratio 5 to 2 is going to work. So I can, instead of 5 and 2, I can put like 10 and 4. If I want to go even more bizarre, I can go um, 1.5 and 0.6. So there's a lot of masses that you can assign. Just make sure that the ratio is going to be preserved. So like AC over CB, since that's 5 is to 2, then the mass, of, the mass on B to the mass of A, the ratio should also be 5 is to 2. As another example, let's say AC equals 20 and AB equals 30. So a very common trick. Note that AB is the entire thing. So AB equals 30. From that, we can deduce that BC equals 18. So the ratio is actually 12 is to 18. So AC is shorter than BC. So 12 is to 18, which is also equal to 2 is to 3, because 12 over 18 is indeed 2 thirds. So in fact, I can use the weight 2 and 3. So 2 will be assigned to point B because BC is longer than AC, so the smaller weight is assigned. And I'll assign a point, I'll assign a mass of 3 to point A, since AC is the shorter. Now on point C, we can assign, we know that the, um, the weight would be just simply uh, the sum of these two. Now in the previous example, I forgot to mention, since I can assign a weight of 2 here and assign a, assign a weight of 5 here on point B, then the weight on C would be 7. So simply add them. Now obviously if I used, um, if I used 10 and 4, then the weight in the middle should be equal to 14. So we must be consistent. Whatever numbers we use, obviously those are the numbers that we're going to add. Now, if I used some bizarre numbers like 0.6 and 1.5 as seen in the example a while ago, then I would add 0.5 and 1 plus 6 to get um, the value or the weight on C. So applying these two concepts, let us go to the most used figure in a lot of the geometric items, the triangle. Now here, there are a lot, there's a lot of segments, and we can use mass points geometry to balance each and every one of them. And that's going to help us, since we, can, we know that we, are, we can convert ratios to masses, and we can convert masses to ratios as well. So let us start with this item. AR is to RB is 2 is to 3. Oh, by the way, um, this figure is not drawn to scale. So AR is to RB is 2 is to 3. So AR is shorter than RB. So let's focus on segment AB first. Let's say we want to balance segment AB. Since AR is shorter than RB, the weight on A should be greater than the weight on B. Now the ratio should be of the form, should be 2 is to 3. So the heavier weight on A I can easily use the weight 3 on A, and then I'll assign 2 on B. Now the ratio is, is indeed preserved. AR is to RB is 2 is to 3, which is the ratio of the mass on B over the mass on A. Now let's focus on AQ is to QC is 5 is to 2. So AQ is to QC is 5 is to 2. Again, the figure is not drawn to scale, but from the ratio, we know that QC is shorter than AQ. So the weight on C to the weight on A should be of the ratio 5 is to 2. Since QC is shorter, the heavier weight should be assigned to point C. Now, there's already a weight of 3 on point A. So whatever we, pu whatever we put on point C, we must put on, sorry, whatever we put on point C, it must be in a 5 to 2 ratio 
um, when dealing with the mass of C to the ratio of the mass of A. So the, ma the weight of C, the weight on C over 3, so the weight of the mass of the mass on C over 3, this should be equal to 5 is to 2. So the weight here should be 5. 5 halves times 3, so the mass on C would be 15 over 2. Now, note how segments AB and AC are done, so we can um, easily get the mass of R and Q. So let's say, let's get R first, so it's just 2 plus 3, since 3 is assigned to A and 2 is assigned to B. So R here would have a mass of 5, and Q here would be 3 plus 15 over 2, which gives us 21 over 2. Now, segment BC here is already balanced since we have masses on, on B and C. So 2 plus 15 over 2 would give us the, the weight on P. So 2 plus 15 over 2, that's 19 over 2. So 19 over 2 is the weight on point P. Now lastly, we can get X in, um, in a lot of ways. We can use segment BQ, segment RC, or segment AP. Now let's just use segment AP since it's already highlighted. So segment AP, so 3 is assigned to A, 19 over 2 is assigned to P, so the weight on X should be 3 plus 19 over 2, and that gives us 25 over 2. So the weight on X is 25 over 2. Now, whatever segment you use, note how you're going to get 25 over 2. Let's consider segment BQ. Point 0.2, not point 0.2, um, the weight on B, which is 2, plus the weight on Q, which is 21 over 2, if, I, if you add them, it's going to become 25 over 2. Same can be said if you use segment RC. 5 plus 15 over 2 is equal to 25 over 2. So since all the ratios are correct and um, all the sum takens are also correct, we can conclude that we have finally um, put, this e put this triangle in equilibrium. So we have successfully uh, made the correct distribution of weights and we are able to get all the other ratios that this triangle has. So aside from the AR equals RB is 2 is to 3 and the AQ is to QC is 5 is to 2, we can get a lot of information. So let's, let's just say on segment AP, oh this is point X just in case you don't see the X. So on segment AP we can get the ratio AX is to XP. Why? Because we already have the weights on A and P. So let's try, let's try to get AX over XP. Now AX over XP, the ratio of that should be equal to the weight on P over the weight on A. So it's like AX is to XP equals 19 over 2 over 3. And this would give us 19 over 6. So that's just one of the ways you can get it. And for fun, you might want to you might want to get on what are the ratios of BQ, sorry, of BX is to XQ and RX is to xc. Now you can do it, you can try to do it and leave your answers in the comment section below. Now, for an exercise, let's have this item. So, same thing, I've, I've given you two um, sets of givens and try to put weights on this triangle such that it is balanced. Now again, you can pause this video Give, give yourself some time to complete the triangle, to put weights on the triangle. Alright, but if you're done, let us go assign the weights. Alright, so the first ratio is a ratio, just like the previous example. Now the second thing, the second given, P is the midpoint of segment BC. This is just another fancy way of saying BP equals PC, since P is the midpoint. So I from here, I can get BP is to PC is 1 is to 1, since they are indeed equal. Now everything would be the same, just in the previous example. Now you can start with literally any segment you want. Well obviously you must start with you know one of the given segments, so BX is to XQ or BP is to BC. So let's start with BX is to XQ. 
Now, if you started with BP is to PC, don't worry, you will be getting the same answer. Maybe not the exact same of value, the exact same set of values, because as I mentioned, you don't, as I've mentioned, like if you have um, BX is to BX is to XQ is four is to three, you don't really have to assign four and three. You can use eight and six, 12 and nine, or any other numbers, number combinations that have the ratio four is to three. So if you want to check your work, just check all the sides and all the ratio to, to check if it's correct. And if it is, if it's satisfied, then, you're, then, you're, um, then your weight assignment is correct and your triangle is balanced. Now, um, let's just go, go through this. So BX is XQ is 4 is to 3. So BX is longer than XQ. So conveniently, I can assign 4 to Q and then 3 to B. Next, let's talk about BP is to B, BP is to PC is 1 is to 1. Now it's convenient since I already have the 3 on B. So I know um, point C should ha also have a weight of 3 since 3 is to 3 is 1 is to 1. Now, I can get the, the weight on P because I already have B and C. So 3 plus 3, that gives me 6. Oh, on X as well, I can get um, the weight on X since I already have segment BQ. So the weight on X would be 7. Now, on segment AP, I know the weight on X is 7. So the weight, of, the weight on A should be 1 because 1 is the value that when added to 6, it gives us 7. Now, point R, I can get via segment RC. So, X is the point, X is the, the weight on X, 7, should be the sum of the weights on C and R, and that gives me 4. Or, I can get 4 via, you know, since segment AB, R is in segment AB, the weight on R would be simply A plus B, or sorry, the mass of A plus the mass of B. So, 1 plus 3, it gives you 4 either ways. Now, from here, let's just get a sample ratio that is not given. Suppose you want to get the ratio uh, AR is to RB, for example. AR over RB. Now, if you want to get AR over RB, you must get the mass of B over the mass of A. So the mass of B is 3, and the mass of A is 1. So the ratio AR is to RB is actually 3 is to 1. So... This is how you do mass point geometry, and hopefully you guys understood this video. If you have any problems, feel free to comment in the comment section down below, and Thumbplet will never, Thumbplet will always reply to your solutions, or, sorry, problems, and will give you a solution. So that concludes the first episode of Thumbplet tutorials. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.